the duration of two different brands of battery A and B is tested. 50 batteries of each type are randomly selected and tested in the same way. The duration of each battery is then recorded. The results of the test are shown in the table that follows. So here we have uh, the tables for brand A and here we have for type B. We are asked to draw a community frequency curve and calculate the estimate of the median of both brands of, debt of battery. This is the same data as in the previous video. So type A, so taking the table for type A, what we need to do is calculate, have the upper class value. So the upper class value here is 5, although it's not equal to 5. So in here we put less than 5. This one will be less than 10, less than 15, less than uh, 20, less than 25, less than 30, less than 35. Right, now we in here we do the community frequencies. The first one will be 3. The next one will be 8 because 3 plus 5 makes 8, then 3 plus 5 plus 8 will make 16, 16 plus 10 will make 26, plus 12 will make 38, plus 7 will make 45, and plus 5 will make 50. So this one should always be 50 because there were 50 here altogether, so it's a way of checking. Let's do type B the same way, so the same upper class values. So for the community frequency, the first one will be 1, the next one will be 1 plus 1, which is 2, the next one will be 2 plus 10, which is 12, 12 plus 23, which is 35, 35 plus 9, which is 44, 44 plus 4 is 48, and then 48 plus 2 is 50. Right, so we've got our table, so we're just going to take this bit of the table here and draw our graph. So take some graph paper. We'll write down our table again. So that's our table. Along this axis here, we put the upper class value, and we call that duration in hours. And this up the y-axis here, or the vertical axis here, we put community frequency. So we're numbering up from 5 to 50 here, 0 to 35 here. And then what we need to do is plot 5 against 3, 10 against 8, 15 against 16, 20 against 26, 25 against 38, 30 against 45, and then uh, 35 against 50. You no, know, the two schools are four. You can either do straight lines, but most people tend to do a smooth curve. And from that, we can calculate the median. So the median is the halfway point between 50, which is 25. So we we'll draw a line at 20, 25. We'll call that the median and then read down, and this is only an estimate, because we used the graph 19.75. So an estimate for the median is going to be 19.8 to 3 centimeter figures from the graph. And then we can repeat it for type B, exactly the same thing, duration along the horizontal axis, community frequency on the vertical axis. Remember to label your axis, plotting the same things, 5 against 1, 10 against 2, 15 against 12, 20 against 35, 25 against 44, 30 against 48, and 35 against 50. Join them up in a smooth curve. And then to find the median, we take 25, we read along, and read down, and this time we get a mean, median slightly less, which is 17.5. So an estimate for the median is 17.5 from the graph. Right, using the GDC, you can get the GDC to draw the uh, community frequency graph. It's a bit of a gimmick, so but we'll get we'll, we will try to do it. So, going to the GDC, so we need to go to spreadsheet mode. So, going to spreadsheet mode, and we'll just call this one uh, X, and we'll call this one F, and we'll call C community, and we'll just leave it like that. That's community frequency. So here we want to put the upper class value. So we're going to put in uh, 5. So I'm just actually going to change that to um, upper 5, uh, 10. What's the next one? All right, we don't need to do any more. We'll just highlight those. Do control menu 
fill and then go down as very carefully when you want to seven. This is a little bit tricky on here. Okay, and then press enter. That puts in all the upper class values. Make sure you scroll back up to the top and then we'll put in the original frequencies. Uh, three, five, eight, ten, twelve, seven, five. Scroll back up to the top. Now put the cursor here, and what we're going to do in this column, we're going to work out the cumulative frequency, but we can get the calculator to do it. Now this might be useful in the exam. Now you need to go to this one here, which says catalog. It's like a look, looks like a book. Okay, it might be on something else. It probably might be on this one when you start. So if you move it to this one, it says cumulative sum, and then press enter. And you want to take the sum of this list, the community sum of this list. Now, it won't accept F, so you have to call it by the list name, which is B. And then press Enter. And you can see it has worked out the community frequency for each of these the values. You can see 8, 16. You can see these. Right. Now, to do the graph, if we go to Home Screen and then select Graphing. And then click here and we'll put in Upper here. OK, and then click here and we'll put in cumulative. OK, and you can see we've got the points. And then if we go to menu and then prop properties and connect the points, we get the um, cumulative frequency curve. OK. So go in here, we'll just, these are the screenshots of all that. It's quite a lot at the bottom on the Firefly page. Now if we look for uh, type B, so going back to the calculator, this is a great thing about the calculator, if we go back to uh, the spreadsheet, which is 1.1, just change the frequencies here, you'll notice that the community frequencies will change automatically. 1, 1, 10, 23, 9, 4, Made a mistake somewhere. Let's have a look. One, 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 twenty-three, nine, four. This one should be two. Sorry. There we go. So we've got fifty at the end. Okay. So let's just so just check that these are right. And then if we click over here on our graph, you will see that the graph has changed as well. Okay. But it's not really much you can do with the graph, but it might look good in a project. And then the screenshots for that are here and here. OK, so this has been a video to show you how to uh, plot a community frequency curve, find the median, and then also get the GDC to find the community frequency uh, values and draw the curve on the calculator.